Good afternoon and welcome to the second set of semi-finals here at Windmill 2018 in Amsterdam, Netherlands. I am Hannah Henry and I have the absolute pleasure of being joined by my good friend and co-commentator Liam Grant. Liam, how are you feeling? The sun's come out, we got a great game of ultimate lined up for us. We have current champions looking to defend the Grut coming from the whole town, Amsterdam or the Netherlands in general, facing against Haslik Erfickel, who are the reigning German champions. So two giants of European ultimate going up against each other. Indeed, two titans of the mixed division coming in on the same side of the bracket. Central Bubba Janssen puts it up. We've got Kalutz with lots of separation deep in the pitch, and that is an easy first score, Liam. What was she doing back there? Who was in charge of that? D-line now for Hrut. Easy score. Can they make it an easy defense? Hashliger Erdvekel will have something to say about that, certainly. Contenders, Hashliger Erdvekel, and as you say, the local heroes, the youngsters of Hrut fighting it out here on the fields on the live stream coverage though and they managed to pressure it no second look from Thomas Muller that's yeah, been a cut down field in quite some time there Old Horst and Claire Dunn not getting involved but now picking up the pace and there we go there's a bit of separation downfield as we see Marta Kulin feel that one nicely looking around for her dump finds it from a mark plug to the inside channel and swiped away. But there appears likewise Hood shutting down the downfield options and putting loads of pressure on the handlers. Keeping contained. Nice moving around the back though. Oh, and a complete miscommunication. Christian Hammond, who was almost every other pass in this morning's game that we covered earlier on the live stream. Yeah, you can't dilly-dally like that outside your own end zone. You know, there's maybe 10, 12 passes inside there. And, and they Dam immediately to the right-hand side of the end zone. Nice, easy, short field. And good D-line go to work. A little bit of a scrappy point, that one, Liam. This is good work, though, around the back at the moment. Yeah, not much happening deeper in the field, but Hannah's happy to work. Morgan puts it up for Fubeg. Seven on seven, Nena Ries. Oh, manages to put pressure with two white shirts underneath the disc. Great work from Nena Ries. Ata is very well shut down by Hammond. And a big put goes up. Sees the streaking form of Bram Sternhorn. Oh, and a bit of contact there from Tiggerman. And that one will not resolve to call. Hammond puts it into space. For the 69 shirt, Bergen, who's going to launch it once again. Oh, much better over the top of the head of Benjamin Ort. And now knocking on the door. Prime opportunity to put their first point on the board. They can holster it. Oh, and a lovely little gift go there between Bergen and the teammate. Can't quite see the back of his shirt, but that was a lovely little slice of offense there to take the first score in this game for the Hashtag Erdfurple offense. Yeah, a little, a little classico shake and bake there. That's what you want to do if you end up downfield, can't get some in the end zone, dish it off and go yourself, you'll find yourself in a lot of space. Or more worried about the break side and switches off for a second. Indeed, the age old adage of follow your pass. Immediate streak deep, but faked off. Not gonna come this time. Minar in the middle, and she's gonna put it instead. Janssen going deep, and what a grab there. Pressure all over the shoulder from Nora Wilkening. But uh, not to be too much of a great grab from what Janssen had legs, even though they are very young. So Wilkening, Gonna put a huge shot up the sideline to her teammate, Stephanie Philberg, who reads it fantastically well. She'll pop it off and go back into the end zone stack. Oh, maybe a little bit of a risky biscuit to Harmon. Finds Hogan. 
Oh, and even the laying form of JP Stenica cannot stop. Hey, we're hosting some live viewing parties this coming weekend for Windmill 2021. If you're looking at this video later, you can still see the live recordings on our YouTube. Subscribe to find out when we go live again. Now, back to the show. Oh, and a huge blade over the top finds Walt Janssen. That's a beautiful throw, Liam. I think they're going to start calling that the glitch. That is their classic blade <laughs> to the end zone. Take him in in the middle. Yeah, not really much coming from the downfield, but there we go. There is the put. Joining up yards. Great pressure there from Benjamin Ort, but a fantastic half. Definitely looked like he landed in balance for up here. Did indeed. Almost no question for us, but there we go. Just the question asked. Nice sort of spirit from the good sidelines saying, no mate, it was in. We fielded by Niels Boop. There we go, there's the shot from Kalutz, and it's perfect for Minar, just to the back of the end zone. Hammer in the middle, why the loose balls on the mark? There seems to be a force out force for Put, who are calling the force home and away. Oh, what a snag there! Absolutely ridiculous grab from Stefan Dosho, who's going to immediately then strike deep and collect. Fantastic scenes there. Collects. You know, on the line. Not much of a force on her though, and she's able to find Lening. And oh! Reaching arm doesn't connect with the pass. Just a little bit too much boost on it. Hurt from Wilkenberg. Oh! Streaking defense from Vanderbelden. Believes himself. Now with a job to do, Janssen trying to help out. Great heads up from there. Managed to catch up and then, there we go. That is the break of score for Hashliga Erdbergl. Off to Van der Velden. Came through and tried to be a hero and completely gave up field position. Who puts up a lovely flat one to Flocka Lodge. They keep letting her run deep, that's not okay. 58 shirt of Julia Lutz left was dust. Morgan. Drop to Lutz. Back to Harmon. Who points to the end zone and says, Who's cutting deep for me? Very free on the under Adusha. Adusha on the sideline. Hammond busting up the line aggressively. Less heads up there. Logan able to get that quite easy. Big hammer. Oh, and that's a lovely throw into space for Stefan Dosha. Just stays on that near sideline. Happy to be there. Big shot going up. That's gonna hang into a lot of space. Can he connect to it? Oh, yes, he can. How fast is Loco van der Velden? That is how fast, ladies and gentlemen. Field. Pausing the play very briefly, allowing that to go to its proper home. Again, great shutdown of the handlers, and the pass will go too far out of the hands of Horgan. And that pass is the right idea, just not executed correctly. A lot of face guarding from um, Guru Dump defense, and a lot of times you just have to throw into space, and they got one off of Guru Hoogan on the back foot. Yeah, they've had a few of those that have been reeled in, but not to be on this case. Outside the end zone, Lola Dam in acres of space. Then we see the Hood ladies getting wide, free, free as the wind blows towards us, Liam. And that is a break to take half. Indeed it is. Great work from the young ladies and gents in burgundy and blue. We'll have to wait and see what the second half of this game, what delights are in store for us now. Say, coming out on offense. Actually, get air special. Needing to come out strong. Punch this one in. So, they can burn. Hammond, very effective. Being poached in the lane, almost as. 
zone like. Lots of big coaches in the lane. This goes up and extremely well boxed out. Stefan Doshan says, nope, that one is mine. Perfect place for the disc. Liam, what do you got to say about that? Yeah, they just went down. They just kept running. And again, this should have smacked out a bit more, I'd say. You certainly do a lovely shot. And the doesn't really even try and take any kind of inside line. Just sort of leave Doshan to go up and get it. Finds me now. Inside. Fast one to Janssen. Seems to be communicating with the downfield, saying, I want someone in the middle. Finds the Linga. Van der Walden puts it up into the space. Big battle. Van Janssen, big man, goes up strong. Excellent effort there from Julian Oser. But unfortunately, he's just too good at catching those. I thought Val Johnson had given up position there. Great effort. A little bit of breathing room for Hut. Just has to get Elfer to go to work. Oh, Tigam and Mistro. Hammond, even he can't keep his hands around that one. Poaches all around the field as the Hashiga defense streak into the end zone. Great work from them. Nana Reese puts it up. Oh, and a huge lefty hammer. My goodness, nearly clocks him in the face, but excellent work from Benjamin Ort. Takes that, but that has got to be absolutely gutting for Hammond there. Just a completely errant pass. Good cover on the, on the uh, hand of defense there as Reese puts it up. But what a throw from Kumans, as you say. A bit of a hybrid throw, half hammer, half blade. He's a fabulous old line, must be getting kind of tired at this point. Lovely air bounce, swing pass, beautiful. Oh, Lola Tan puts on the pressure, but a great pair of hands from Nora Wilkenberg. Dosha up the sideline. Fakes and then takes the reset. Hammer of their own over the top to Horgan. And a lovely, not a hammer. Oh, that's great separation in the end zone. So, news from around the field. Oh, as we get a huge layout attempt from Horgan. Van der Walden around the side. No one really striking deep from foot. That's unusual. But he gets chinned up when it comes. Flock alert. Who is going to rip a huge backhand? Sails over the top of the defense. Fence. Over the top, Ooh, a little bit of pressure from Lola Dan, but doesn't go up for it. Respects the fact that the receiver had position. The majority of time Lola Dan has been looking downfield. And oh, is. that's a grab. Having a little bit of a hero and pops it up. Again, it's the hands of Stefan Dorsha. The O-line, very conservative, just playing a bit of keep disc. Red record handler marks, definitely sagging in the lane, trying to get a hand on that. Can't do it. I see Van der Walden into the end zone, hops it beautifully. And that is a sensational put. So patient, so calm, finds the shot and takes it. Oh, spicy hammer. Exceptional hands there from Lassa Horgan. Tigger with the boys playing a little bit of catch at the back. Dorsha. Harmon. Yeah, and the spicy little hammer, like a, like a bit of that. The backhand is definitely on there, but he just loves hammers. Oh, it's a hammer, yes! <laughs> My only criticism would be in that point, and I'm not sure I have to get out of the vocal lady touched the disc at any point, but they didn't need to. The boys took care of that one. Easy does it. Lovely hammer. So they want to get back to the final and win it for the second time, just to let everyone know that they are the best mixed team in Europe. Are the gold medal winning team from the EUCF Championships in Kaol, Venice, which... Oh, and there's the big ripper, but that's going to be even too far for Florka Lutz. Too hasty there to finish the game. Defense, but has to get out of Ferkel. Looking good up that line. And there it is, Stefan Dorsha, who's been having a phenomenal game, and that's a phenomenal catch, Liam! And he calls a timeout. Oh, I'm not sure if 
If the time cap is gone yet, some debate on it. It's coming in stall one. They're happy with it. We'll be over in the next 15 minutes. See how long Erdbeckel can drag this one out. There. We'd love to see Universe Point. I'm saying it right now. That's a truly cruel thing to say, Liam. Thank you for reminding us that we're now on the downward slope towards winter. It is coming, as they say, in the Game of Thrones. But this is a Game of Thrones here, to use the terrible pun. Mano a mano slash lady a lady. And that's what you want, separation. Chooses conservative play instead. Yeah, decided to look off the open pass. We'll see if that plays out well for him. Oh, high still for Horgan. Managed to find a release in Dolsha. Again, crunching it in. Very, very tight margins. Oh, and a little pop in front for Doshe. He continues his run of scoring for Hashtagger Erdferkel. As you say, one of the first times that four women has been called on the lines in this game. Anna Minard. They've got all the ladies downfield. As another zony type of look is thrown by Hashtagger Erdferkel. Now more true single coverage. Artis in the middle, but a little bit of a poaching from the hand mark. Janssen has Kalert Sander after her mark fell over. <laughs> Dan clapping her hands in disbelief as Janssen replaces her in the underspace. Silence deafening right now. Pressure is on. This is what they've trained for. This is a big moment for them. Momentum in the hands of Artes. Finds Dam. Is she going to go for an over the top herself or is she just going to swing it? She's going to take the conservative option. This is what they need to do. No need to rush it. Take the time. Find the separation. More momentum on the sideline. You can hear the whispers of hammering. Hammer. <laughs> Growing in my mind. Oh, what a lovely anyway. around break. And a huge play, that's for Kalutz for days. Oh, what a great bid! What a defensive block from Hashtagger Erdberkel! Oh my goodness, came out of the backspace behind the shoulder. That is fantastic defense, Liam. Yeah, there's Nora Winkling. Firing to go get the D. The inside shot comes out and a huge rip goes. Can Lola Dam chase that one down? No, she cannot. That is a score for Hashtagger Erdberkel! Fantastic run by Julia Lutz. And what a put from the eight shirt in hand of Nora Wilkening. Whoa, that's something, Liam. That is something as we see Phil Christian Harmon kiss the head of his teammate Nora Wilkening. And as Ruth called four women on this last point, it's in fact the Earth Record women who step up, get the D, get the hook and the score. They're showing whatever you can do, we can do better. And now we're 14-14. Who's going to step up and throw the hammer at it? That is the real question. We've got a treat in store for all our viewers. Everyone on the sideline gathering around. I see many individuals on the sideline with their hands on their heads, almost in disbelief. We were sat at 13-11, Liam, discussing whether or not Hashika Erferkel could have enough in the tank. They brought it out once. They brought it out twice. We're now staring down the barrel of a universe point. Well, this is where it is. This is what it's all for play for, as that ball will sink into the back corner, or towards the back corner anyway. Van der Walden takes Janssen in the middle, finds Kalertz. Again, we'll probably see a little bit more conservative play down on the far sideline. Flat to Janssen, big pressure from the defense and a blade across to Ort. Got Minard in the middle but takes the post van der Velden. Minard. Shoulder shimmy, finds Dam. Floor Lutz, staggering, kind of lots of players on the far sideline in the channel, kind of not helping themselves very much. Minard clearing up the line. And a pop up, that's Minards. Nearly deep by her own teammate Artes, but good swinging around the back, nice and patient. Red Reckler have found another gear on defense. Oh, they, they are really making have. it grind hard. Found themselves trapped on the sideline a couple of times, resorting to blades to get out of it. Deep shot is there. Oh, could it be? Yes, it is! 
Fleur Collard still alone the dam, like you're saying, Liam. That was another level of defense from Hashtag Erdfurkel. I lost count of how many passes the offense had to make there. Great to see. What a performance. Both teams should hold their heads high. Fantastic preparation for Worlds in three weeks' time. But Liam, take us out. What did you think of that game? Oh, the atmosphere of that final point was electric. You could hear the heart beating of the players as they tried to stay patient and did so for very, very tough defense from Erdrickle. Both teams can be proud of their performance. A little taste of what's to come tomorrow. Cancel your dates. If you have to do the shopping, just eat whatever food's left over. Sit in front of your stream and watch three amazing finals. Yes, you can join us tomorrow. We have all three, as you say, from the stadium grounds on the rubber crumb glory. Who will win? Will it be Flut again in the mix? Taking a clean one this time. We'll have to wait and see. Please join us tomorrow. I've had the pleasure of being joined by Liam Grant in the booth. Thank you very much, Liam. A pleasure as always. Hoping for more amazing games like this. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Hannah Penderbury. We'll see you tomorrow. T.TV